Hey guys, welcome back to Tornado Survival. This is Mike, and this is the last episode, most likely, in the Tornado mod for 1.5.1. It probably won't be a new season unless he totally revamps the Tornado mod in which it either breaks stuff or it changes the way I would play the Tornado mod. But otherwise, we're just going to keep on going with this when it updates. Um, 1.6 should be out within, you know, 8 to 12 hours. It is the evening of the 30th. We need some glass to repair some stuff up there. Um, let's get hit by that double tornado. I'd like to get the automatic farm up and running today. Which means I think I'm going to put the water underneath of these. I think that'll reach. Or actually, maybe I'll just put it under this. We'll put the water right here. Um, I found my old world which started as a single player when the emeralds came out and then I moved it to multiplayer to play with some of my friends and it was probably the longest mine cuz like let me be honest like back in 1.7.3 when I first joined I played single player survival so I had like one map and then like one multiplayer map and I played through those until I updated to 1.8.1 and then I would just make maps to go try out all the new features, or I would make a map and then make a quick thing, and then it would, Minecraft was updating so much because it was it was just updating all the time, and I didn't play it. And when they it, they got the update for the um, the update for the emeralds, there was a that was like a pretty serious update. And the nice thing was there was a lot of stuff that. I knew I was going to have a little bit of time, and there was a lot of stuff where I wanted to try out. And then I realized I really hadn't made a survival Minecraft since, well, shoot, since 1.7.3 or 1.8 when I had my survival servers in 1.8. I really haven't had some because I had been playing so much of this other Minecraft server called Elden. I had been playing a whole bunch of that. If you've watched my old videos, I'm sure you've heard me mention it. Or, like, if you look way back on my channel, I made a trailer for it and all this stuff to help the server out. Okay, good. I think this is going to work now. Um, so we had all that, but... I had never really, like, sat down and played some good old survival Minecraft without using either mods on the Tornado mod or recording it for a series or on that server specifically. So I made a single player world and I was really, really enjoying playing it when I was like, let me just play this with my friends. Let's go back to the good old times. Let me just make a classic survival Minecraft. And went ahead and did that and I was really enjoying it. I had a large biomes map because that was when large biomes came out and I thought it was awesome because it was really difficult because it was large biomes and it was fun and whatnot. And long story short, I ended up putting it on survival and my couple of my friends joined and we ended up making some really awesome some really awesome world. Um you know not my favorite Minecraft world I've ever played in but I made, I spent the most time just in single player survival and the most time just collecting resources that made it really awesome. And we have a break in the weather, both in Minecraft and the reason why I'm recording right now is because we're in between storms here. Because I've been getting, we've been getting slammed with the tropical, uh, the tropical flow from the south here. The east coast has been getting slammed with the weather. But we're going to take this iron. I'm going to go hop over to that world. I've converted it back to single player, so hopefully it's not buggy or anything. I don't want it to turn into a tour of this world because I can do that later, but I just want to go see how I did my automatic farms, and I'm going to copy that design for the most part on this world. So without further ado, let's hop on over. Oh, what did that say? Notice 1.6 is that? Oh, well, I guess 1.6 is out right now. Must have came out like right after I updated. Okay, world. I think this is survival. I think this was it. Whoops. Oh, yep, this is it. Oh my gosh, we are... We are really far down here. Oh yeah, this was our gaming area. As you can see, there's just the ridiculous... We each had our own, like, mountains and stuff. Top left corner was Xerthic. Um, that's the town. The square that's outlined it looks like wood. That is, in fact, the NPC village that we built from scratch off of the NPCs we got out of a dungeon that was right near the surface and by running around at night. All those gray areas are from creepers. This is my giant compound 
that I will, I've got to show this off. I've got to do a tour, but I'm not going to do the tour right now, but I will do a tour of this. I can't believe I never got a tour of this. This was fantastic. This one, I own two mountains, this top one that's really heavily boxed in, and then the other one that's thinly boxed in that goes right up to Mitch's smaller mountain. Um, I'll have to show this off. Oh my gosh, I remember this world like crazy now. Let me go ahead and show off, uh, let me show off this super fast. I can at least show this off. We were making a big, like, play area down here for all of us. This was putt-putt. You throw the ice, you throw stuff onto the ice by putting. Oh, well, that's not going to work. You get, like, one. You stand on the gray, and you'd go, hey, ding, and you'd get it in, you'd try to get it in with, uh, one throw. This is where you would trade with all the people. We were building another room back here. But we made two things that I was very proud of. First one was this target. I'm just going to see if I can do this. There we go. Ding. So you had insane, hard, normal, and easy, and we would have archery tournaments here. So what you would do is you to collect because you would hit these four corners would just light it up, but this if you hit the center it makes the tone, and then it goes all the way. Like if you hit the outside it lights up the middle, but then if you hit the middle it makes the noise as well. So you would stand here, you'd raise this up, and then you could hop up here, and that's how you picked up your arrows. Pretty pretty fun design. Yeah, see, those just do the light. And then that one does sound, too. Bing! There was this, and then we had the survival arena. As you can hear, the zombies. We uh, made this little room here. What you would do is you would stand here, and then you'd press this button with your arrow. It shuts the door, and you have to fight off the monsters until the door opens back up again. So when that arrow falls off in about 30 seconds, oh my gosh, this was a bad idea. Help! Help! Oh my gosh! I'm so dead. Oh! I didn't realize I didn't have a sword with me. Derp and derp, 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 derp. All right, can I change my game mode? Do I have cheats on? I don't have cheats on. I can't do it. I'm gonna have to run back really quick. You're going to get to see some of the world. You're going to get to see some of the world. I got to run back. That was such a dumb decision. I realized I didn't have a sword after I did that. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, okay, we're going to run in and see if I can get my items. And then we're going to come back and then we'll look at the farm. This is turning into not turning into survival. This is what I did not want to happen. This is why I didn't, was weary about showing this off. Whoops. Right here. giant dark room that box it was nothing but to have mobs spawn and then you have the power ups from that because we actually did fight one legitimately you are way down here in this mountain okay down into the room sword sword anywhere sword I probably could have shot them with my arrows Okay, we're gonna have to shoot them with my with with arrows. If we have any, I bet you we don't even have any arrows. Oh my god. We're gonna make a stone sword right now. Iron sword. We're making an iron sword right now. <sighs> the tour, I'll make sure I'm in creative mode. Ha, you can't get to them. Do you have a shovel? Yeah, you do have a shovel. I almost killed you guys, punching you to death. Okay, so just a quick demonstration again. You would hit the this with the arrow. It would open this for a certain amount of time as long as the arrow is there. This gate comes up and... Well, that person can shut... You can shut the gate like that. So you can stay back here and just practice shooting zombies by it, like permanently opening that. Or you could not do that. Okay, we're going to go actually go back to where we want to go now. 
here. Then up this giant stair, this giant ladder. Okay, we're going on to the compound, and I'm going to show you this. I'm going to record a tour of this later, because I want to show off um, everything I built. And I, I probably will go in everybody. I'll probably go to Zerthik's house. I'll probably go to Skatums, because we had underground rail systems that connected each other's houses. Not just to travel, but we had a carts to send mail. So when we, would, when we needed supplies or wanted to do trades, we would just press a button, and it would send the cart with them with the items to their place. So this was a pretty insane place we built and I would not be surprised if all of a sudden I want to play this. Well, I can't play this map because it's so out of date. But play this again. I think we're going to go this way to get to the farms. You hear that? You hear it? I spent the time to collect all this obsidian to make that creeper-proof room. That room is creeper-proof and you can go in there and fight them charged up. All of, all of this was 100% legit Minecraft. No cheating, no mods. Just extreme hills by have a ton of supplies in them. Okay. We're gonna go in here. My rooms I never finished. Oh, my kitchen! Look at my kitchen. I press a button. Got my cow, my my eggs. I press. Oh, well, the button's not there. It's probably broken. But I press the button. It would send all of the crops I harvested up from the farm automatically up here. We need some mushroom stew. Oh my. Yeah, I always lie because the chickens are like flapping around in water over there. Chainmail earned that legitimately. We're gonna go down here. How do I get down from here now? I think I just gotta go down. Yeah, here we go. I want the long sort of. No, not really. Real quick overview. Here's my compound. This is to keep the mobs out because the mobs. Like that! Oh, no! Okay, we're good. We good. I've had way too many creeper ants in it, so that's why I have all these blockades, because they would come to my front door and blow up. Okay. God, this place was awesome. I don't I don't realize how much I built up on this. Alright. Into my uh, into my farm. This is what we came here for. Here is the farming compound. The farming district. So yeah, press this button, harvests it, they all come down to the fence, and just like that. Hit the button again. You can walk on the sides and you can reach it. No, you can reach it just perfectly. Harvest it. Okay. Well, I came on here to get to the redstone and behind all of this. So. Let's go. Came here to get the redstone. It's, oh, I didn't use pistons. That's right. This is when they added the water buckets. I don't need to make pistons. I need to make dispensers. And I need dispensers lined up. Okay. This goes up to my kitchen. I think I remember this now. I can I can totally make this now. We're good. Okay, it was dispensers, not pistons. That makes it so much easier. Okay, let's hop back on. We need... How much string do we have? We have two string. That's not going to work. We need more string than that. We need a spider dungeon. We need a spider dungeon. That's what we need. Where are you? What? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Sucker, how are you not burning? Oh my gosh, you were a pain in the butt. Okay. We need to go fight some spiders, but it's daytime. So as we go, we go exploring. Um... One thing. I, 
Oh, maybe we can get. You think we can get a music disc? No! Ah! Uh, we were so close. You just had to hit him one more time, you stupid skeleton. Freaking dumb skeleton. Look at all those arrows in me. Look at this. Right through my eyeball. Right through my freaking eyeball. Alright, since I, um... I mentioned... Let's see. We need... I'm gonna go out and see you. I don't remember what type of the dungeons there were. The couple that... Oh my gosh. There is not a block left to be sucked up by tornadoes. Oh my god. This is destruction. This is terrible. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Well, anyways, as I wait for a, um, as I wait for, uh, it to get dark and for us to find some spiders, and because this episode's kind of lame because I got distracted on that other one, I will post a tour video, and the tour video will have more information, because I'm not going to be doing a giveaway, but it is kind of a giveaway of sorts. I'm looking for some alpha testers, beta testers, really alpha, not even alpha at this point. But I'm looking for some testers of some sort, probably about 15, to test out some stuff for me. I'll post more details about this, and it's video game stuff. It's Minecraft stuff. I'm going to need some testers for a little something I've been working on, and I'm going to make... It'll be in the next... Spider Dungeon. Here we go. Let's go to this. Yes! Um, I will post a video probably today or tomorrow that'll be a tour of that world but at the very s or actually I'm probably going to have a separate video. I have a separate video for it. I'm going to have a sep two videos coming up. One is going to be a tour of that and then the second video is going to be um, information about how you could possibly be chosen to test out something with myself and my friends on Minecraft. Um, so we'll, I'll just say that for now. But I'm going to need people, so be ready. Be ready to jump the gun. I'm going to need some help. Somebody that is on summer break that's going to need, that has a little bit of free time on their hand, is willing to offer some criticism and or some advice or just some more ideas of how to fix things. And... Wants just to play Minecraft and try a new Minecraft experience. I think you guys can pretty much guess what it is at this point, but... We're gonna get some. We'll get some string, and then we'll finish the farm next time. Because this video is running long because I talk too much, and because I got distracted. So this is going to be Tornado Survival episode 19.5. This isn't quite 20. It's a half of an episode. Fair enough. I guess I need to close this in to make it dark. This is a small dungeon. This is like super small dungeon. Oh, it's getting dark anyways. big cave system. We'll just light it up and then block it off. So if we have to, we can run down here and hide. <laughs> and fight them with a wall to our back. Otherwise, we're just going to wait for it to get dark. <coughs> and take him out that way. But I really don't want mobs falling in, so I think I'm going to cover that up.
what is it, three pieces for a bow, and we're going to need, like, six to eight bows. Oh my gosh, so aggressive. Well, we can get XP from this. I always forget certain aspects of the game, because when I play on some of my servers, they'll have, like, XP from mobs disabled. Or creepers don't do damage, and then I play single player, because this is really the only single player I'm actively playing right now, because I've been working on my project. So it's like, well, hey, all of a sudden, things got either more difficult or easier or just are way different. Can you guys see? You know what? Oh, you, you, you can see as much as you can see. Daytime will probably be spawning more than nighttime. Alright, I'm actually gonna wrap. Oh, 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 oh. I might have to sit here and grind a little bit myself, grinding some monsters, because right now we've only got enough for two bows. So I'll probably grind grind some of this myself. And then I'm gonna work on making a fair way to uh, pick some people to uh, to go test out this project Minecraft for us. So look for the video for that. Thank you guys for all your support because we're over 11,000. Thank you for watching this video if you did because it is only a half of a 20 to survival episode. I apologize for getting distracted on that world. I, I do apologize. I knew it was going to happen too. Yeah, I'm not going to bore you with fighting spiders. So I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.